Let's learn how to create a network published shared variable. I have a VI that runs on the RT target. I have another VI that runs on the PC host. And we need to be able to communicate information between the loops, both non-deterministic and deterministic, back to the PC host. So what we'll do is communicate the iteration number for these two loops on the RT target, and then also use the stop button from the PC to be able to manipulate the stop controls on these two loops. Let's begin by establishing that connection. I'll select my target and then choose new variable. The data type is integer 32. We choose network published variable and there's a couple other options too. Give it a name right here. We'll call this non-deterministic loop. If you wanted to, you could type in some more descriptive information. We won't be using that option. And you can make the code a little bit more efficient when you select single writer. That is, there's no other um, information sources for that variable, only destinations. Here we see the variable has been created. I can drag that into the block diagram, select the access mode as right, and then connect it up to the loop index. Drag that into the other VI and connect it up. Now that the library has been established, we can say new variable underneath that library. And in a similar way, this will be integer 32. For this particular case, since we are coming from the deterministic loop, we do want to enable the RT FIFO and just a single element is appropriate for this. So this is a special option that you need to choose when the variable resides in a timed or deterministic loop. Notice the distinctive symbol for that option. Change the access mode again so that we can connect it. And then drag that into the other block diagram and connect that. All right, let's work on the stop button. We need to communicate that to the non-deterministic loop. Create a new variable. In this case, the data type is a Boolean. Everything else is similar to what, what I've shown you already. Now I'd like to illustrate one final technique for communicating between two loops within the same VI. So this is called a single process shared variable. This is needed to con connect non-deterministic and deterministic loops within the same VI. This is a Boolean. And in this case, it's a single process shared variable. The RT FIFO needs to be enabled because it again exists in the timed loop. Place that on the block diagram, wire it up. I'm going to take the communication from the non deterministic loop. And that looks good. Let's go ahead and right click on the library, which presently has the name untitled. We'll say save and then give it an appropriate name. I'll just call it shared variables, but you can use any meaningful name for that purpose. Let's go ahead and run the PC host VI. And then we'll get the RT target VI operational. And so we see the information being communicated back to the PC host. We can also see the loop being pasted at a uh, faster rate and a slower rate. This one's only going at one, one second per iteration. 
click the stop button and it causes all of the VIs to shut down.